Olivia's eyes seem distant as she looks over the various game cabinets in the room. Silver Iris is dancing to and fro, a soft hum resonating from her mouth. I try and follow where her gaze lingers, but she seems to be constantly drifting to something new every other moment while deep in her own thoughts. And as we carry on slowly, the creeping awkwardness in my stomach gnaws away at me. I've no clue what to do right now. The point of this excursion was to relax. It feels rude to interrupt her, but she definitely knows better than me. Say, Olivia. My voice brings her back to the current moment with a start, her hands maneuvering her chair around to look at me fully. What, uh, what game should we try first? The Baryonyx shrugs her shoulders. Anything. Okay, then how about one of your favorites? My favorites? Yeah, you used to come here all the time. I'm sure you've got some you prefer. The look of surprise from her is quickly hidden by her turning her chair back around. Fine, my favorites then. My favorites. She pushes her wheelchair with purpose towards a particularly large screen in the corner. Looking at it closer, there's a large block connected to it and dull multicolored sticks hanging off the sides with wires. Oh, damn it. Hmm. I look up at the title above the screen. Ruin Robbers? The more I look at it, the more I see where splotches of fresh paint barely cover poorly done marker graffiti. Olivia's pout is so prominent as she glares at the base of the funny-looking block before the screen. They updated it. So it should be better then, right? Her, her pout breaks, transforming into a depressed frown as her eyes seem to gloss over. I follow her gaze to the metal plate at the base to try and better understand. Machine looks pretty well-maintained, if you ask me. Something wrong with it? They added a foot pedal for the cover action. I test the plate, feeling it sink down and noticing the video demo on screen changes to a screen with a bunch of ASS with numbers next to each instance. This sucks. Olivia's hands curl into fish as she glares at the machine. A twinge runs through my chest when I look back at the frustrated dino girl. One aspect of her favorite pastimes has been changed in a way that almost robs her of it. The thought strikes a painful chord in my heart, and though I know I had zero hand in the game update, all the same to see the clover-scaled girl look so morose. I turn my eyes away to my feet, the sensation leaving as I do, and a flash of brilliance overcomes me as I look at my loafers. Hey, I've got an idea. She cuts me off with a growl. I know what you're going to say, and the answer is no. So you're willing to just give up because you can't play it easily? Yes. Olivia's response leaves me a bit floored. Her hateful eyes leer venomously at her former favorite game, but I know my idea will work. Okay, you play then. Haven't you been paying attention? I can't... I'll handle the pedal work. Olivia's words are left hanging as she tries to visualize what I'm saying. Her confused gaze wanders between me and the flat rectangle on the floor. The whole time she looks so goofy that I have to withhold a chuckle in fear of her clawing me. She must have realized, though, as she snatches the light gun from my hand, her cheeks bearing a red hue. Fine. One game. She looks at the light gun in her hand and takes a deep breath. You better do your job right, Inko. I give Olivia a nod and she wheels herself right next to the arcade machine. Gimme. She reaches out for my hand and goes to take it before I can respond. She takes it for a split second and then moves down to grab my wrist instead. Her scales are soft and cool. Hit the pedal when I squeeze, capiche? I nod in affirmation and Olivia blasts the start button into pieces. <laughs> Not so tight. Dude, hit the damn pedal. It's like playing with controller lag. Inko. Sorry. Holy crap, this is worse than I remember. Hi, it's me. I'm the guy that makes sense. Here you can see I put the respawning enemies in front of a place where you're forced to cross. I came up with this idea while eating a bird. I don't even want to staple my ears to me. Fucking damn it, not again. Ugh. This game sucks. Want to play again? She's a bit intense. When Olivia finally releases her grip on my wrist, I feel my blood rushing through the imprint she left. We ended up playing four or five games total. It's probably enough. I'm good to move on. You? Are you sure? I don't want to keep you here all day. Olivia looks over the machine one last time before sliding the plastic gun back into its slot. I'm still a bit disappointed they changed it, but... Thanks. Alright, there's better games around anyway. Let's go. Damien. Sometime along the way, people started calling her Hot Wheels. Don't remember really who or when. But I do know it's proof she's got that fire in her. A fire in her. 
Before she can roll away too far, my hand takes hold of one of her chair's grips, jolting the dino girl from her sullen stupor. Hey, I've got an idea. Hot Wheels. Why don't we try the fighting game you were so good at? The fighting game... Ah. Olivia's jaw clicks shut and her hands ring together tightly. Arcade cabinets can't change, right? I mean... Her gaze turns towards the opposite end of the arcade and I can hear the loud hollers of competition from here. Come on, Hot Wheels, what do you say? The name seems to invigorate her. Her glacier iris is hardening and her ivory claws to and her ivory claws touching at her wheels. An eerie grin creeps across her features, tongue polishing an incisor as her predatory eyes latch onto a particular cabinet in the far side. Olivia picks a direction and speeds off, parting the sea of sweaty dinos and leaving a small space of safety in her wake. After a short while, passing some digital pachinko machines, she looks back at me for a moment as if to confirm my presence and to say, don't lose me and then he yanks her wheelchair to launch herself through the building towards a new destination. What? Hey! I finally give chase, following as best I can while avoiding the rest of the awestruck players that just witnessed the high-speed dino girl shoving them aside in her wake. As I get closer, the atmosphere seems to grow thicker, the very air becoming dank and heavy, almost as if someone dialed a humidifier up to 11. For a second, I have to stop in my tracks to catch my breath and try to cool down as my shades begin to fog up. Though this is the power of the fighting game crowd. I'd heard things, but I thought they were jokes. Through the fog, I spot Liz, or rather, Liz's head, sticking above the crowds. Yo, you found us! Getting closer, Damien and Liz's head come into view. Olivia stops and checks one last time that I didn't get washed away in the crowd. She then moves past Damien and Liz, coming to a screeching halt next to a particular cabinet that's occupied by somebody else. She removes a shiny coin from her pocket, placing it firmly down the controls of the current player who hardly glances at her. As I step closer, I'm able to overhear the exchange between the two dinos. The greaseball Ankylosaur, without even looking away from the cabinet, starts rattling off his credentials to Olivia as if it was a job interview. You know I'm the best your ass kick player this side of Volcadera, right? Double S ranked, three online tournament wins. Besides, it's 50 cents, not... Shut up and nut up already. Olivia's voice causes the Ankylosaur to grimace and finally turn his head. You really want to try me? You really want to try me? Look, Tiny Tim, you gotta know that I'm... His jaw clicks shut as his eyes manage to sweep above and then down to Olivia, his eyes squinting as his retina slowly adjusts to the low lighting of something not displaying brightly colored pixelated characters. Bro, you know you can't be bringing chairs over here, not after last summer. Olivia growls and raises a fist, and I think the pale-scaled dino finally sees who's challenging him. His maw flaps helplessly as he tries to explain himself before just stopping himself completely. Never mind. Sorry. The gator girl sighs and taps a finger on the quarter she'd placed down. Rules say you can't refuse, right? His head tilts in confusion. You know, you look to be the new champ here, right? Y yeah I... This is the champ's cabinet, right? Damien's come over by this point, followed closely by Liz's head. Champ's cabinet? Unofficial, but that's the oldest one here. Been here since the dawn of time. It's like, sacred or something. I look over the old machine. I look over the old machine. The paint on it chipped and positively covered in marker ink to the point that the only legible thing on it is a very juvenile edit to the game's title. This thing? Yeah, man, they only let the head honchos actually use it. If you're spotted trying without credentials, you end up headbutted. That's bold, but I believe it. I look back to Olivia, who's having a withering stare down with the squat guy she challenged. Is he Coop from Megas XLR? I'm not sure who this guy is. Wait, no. He's Bob from Tekken. Look, uh, lady, I'm a big deal here. Buster O'Nuts, crown champ in all Volcadera. This particular Jurassic Kick machine's got a history. It happens to be the same machine that Dano the Rex Go managed to parry. Quit stalling and fight me already. I'm not. I'm just, uh, setting the stages all. Plus, you think you're the only challenger I've got? I look around, noticing that there was now a group surrounding us. On my title as champion, I'll take all comers now. A hushed whisper goes through the crowd. Finally, I form a line now. Okay. Tallest, smallest. What? No cutting. 
Oh, heck yeah, we're gonna wipe the floor with you, Buster. Wait, what? I don't even play video games. And I'm not really a gamer either. Too bad, consider it to be the blood tax. I want to protest further, but Olivia's head turns towards me with a pleading look on her face. Besides, you think I want to put my hands on that thing? Who knows where? We're in. Inko? Yes! Come on, Liz, it won't be that bad. You're still by the Brachio booth, right? Hold tight, I'll come get you. Damien pushes back through the small group around us, following Liz's neck to find the rest of her. Her head swivels around and gives chase. Her pleas to not have to play falling on deaf ears. Brachio booth. The arcade's claustrophobic, so brachiosaurs would tend to bump into everything, including each other. There were some lawsuits, so now there's a few platforms placed where people like her can sit and reach everything. There's even some water fountains attached. It doesn't stop things from getting tangled when there's multiple, but it's something. Huh. Lore. <laughs> In the end, Liz must have relented because she shuffles up to the rest of the group. Fine, let's just make this quick. Liz reluctantly steps forward to the arcade cabinet, a crooked smile forming on the self-proclaimed champion's face. It doesn't take long for Liz to completely lose. The large Ankylosaur's hands move like a blur as they dance across the controls, pummeling their digital opponent into the ground. As boastful as he was earlier, he at least proved that he was skilled at Jurassic. The screen displaying perfect after only a minute against Liz. Liz crosses her arms and starts heading back to her old seat in the booth, head in tow with a pout. Buster leans his head back against his clasped hands to make a show that it was no big deal. Next victim! Damien struts to the cabinet and jams his hands in his pockets for change. Is there a whole piggy bank in there? Haven't seen your group around before. Tourists? Huh? Oh, nah. Liv and I used to come here all the time. Life's been tough, you know, so we got some friends to come along this little trip down memory lane. To lighten the mood a bit. Hmm. This place hasn't changed much in the years, either. Aha! He hoists the quarters high and jams them into the slot. Once more, the screen lights up and the character selection music busts in. Buster considers his selection. And ultimately chooses the same character. Damien jams on the buttons and picks his right after. A and what's with that death glare? Damien just picked a counter to his character. Probably expects all of us to be beginners. Buster does seem a bit more tense now. Been a while since then, though. Her explanation is cut short as her words take on a scratchy quality to them. Hey, you okay? What? Um, I'm fine. I can go and refill your canteen pretty quick. Sure, thanks. She reaches behind her and unhooks her severely dented water bottle from her chair. There's something to look into for Christmas. That Buster guy said there was water by the Brachio booths, although I can't imagine the water here is very good. Christmas? What? What am I thinking? I haven't gotten anyone a gift like that before. Focus, Inko, you're just getting some water. I head deeper in the arcade towards the center, passing through the aisle lit by game screens. You guys are done already? No, just refilling Olivia's bottle. I guess I'm gonna miss Damien's match. Say, hey, Liz. This sticker here, what is it? Her head comes in close as she eyes the weird brand on the canteen. Oh, that's from some really old show. Like back in the 90s old. Why? Just curious is all. Well, I never really asked Olivia about it. Maybe I should. After all, I think I recall watching a video essay about it once. Though I could never really get into older stuff, the animation always looks so choppy. Recapping the bottle, I lead Liz's head back to the fighting game section. It's surprising that Damien and Buster are still playing, this time both of their hands slamming furiously on the controls. A crowd is even formed around the duo, exchanging low whispers as they watch the old CRT screen. I pick out Olivia at the front of the crowd, close to the cabinet, so she's able to clearly watch. She's hyper-focused, to the point that when I swish the bottle in front of her face, she just leans over to keep watching. Evil it is, then. I hold the canteen above her muzzle and carefully tip it over until a few drops fall on her face. Her tongue laps along her lips and sips up the nourishing droplets before glaring at me. Hey. Here you go, fresh from the latrine. Huh. She takes the bottle and downs most of it right away before clearing her throat. 
Thanks. How's Damien's match going? Well, he's getting too aggressive. He is? Yeah, Buster picked a rushdown character, so Damien picked a zoner to keep Buster at a distance. Problem is that zoners are notoriously bad when it comes to footsies and are even worse with mix-up, which means that if Buster is able to get into Damien's hurt box, he's gonna get super punished and might even lose the set in a single. Wait a second, I'm human. So Damien has to keep his distance. It's not looking good for him, he's probably about to... Oh, crap. Olivia and I watch from the sidelines as over the next few seconds, Buster pulls off an impressive series of moves that crush Damien's character into the ground. Almost like he was waiting for us to get back. Wow, you actually knew how to play. Buster jams an accusing finger my way, as though marking me for death. You're next. Damien's expression carries a hint of disappointment as he steps away from the cabinet, but he quickly peps up and reassumes his usual jovial self. It's just me and Olivia left. I nervously step up to the cabinet. A plethora of characters in various fighting poses stare back at me, each with their own promises of victory. I recall an old saying Coach Solly had said, If we do not know what we are doing, then the opposing team certainly can't anticipate our future actions. I have done nothing but teleport bread for three days. I tap my joystick over till the large question mark in the middle of the screen is highlighted. To the astonishment of spectators and my visibly nervous opponents, the game begins and my opponent besides me seems exceptionally calm as he manipulates his controls. Compared to me trying to get out every button and stick input to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Unlike Damien, who at least looked like he was holding his own against the bloated buster, I was getting the digital crap kicked out of me. Every attempt that I made was met by my character being grabbed and thrown in some ridiculously elaborate way. He's a king player. By the time the perfect announcement plays out on the screen, I can feel my wrists cramping from the crazy amount of button mashing I'd done in under a minute. At least I lasted a little longer than Liz. Don't feel too bad, I am the best here after all. His snort-filled laughter grates on my ears as I walk back to my friends, all of them staring daggers at the pasty-scaled dino. The rest of the crowd are in an uproar along with him, and I can feel my ears heat up at the attention. Olivia's eyes are narrowed as she wheels herself into the... Olivia's eyes are narrowed as she wheels herself into position, her tail lashing roughly against the ground as she waits for the laughter to die down and her turn to finally begin. Buster chuckles to himself while crackling his knuckles. I just finished wiping the floor with your friends while hardly breaking a sweat. Just so you know who you're really dealing with, I'm Buster O'Nuts, achiever of octaves in the annual Jurassic Kick Wisconsin E-Tournament, demolisher of Ikaria, second best player of 2007-2012, and co-leader of the Midwestern branch of the Mighty Mammoths Gamers Guild. You won't look bad for ducking out. Or are you ready to get busted? You're fat. You know you can still back out of this. Olivia's response is to insert her coin slowly without breaking eye contact with Buster, with what I can only describe as a predatory leer. She then slams her fist on the start button. Buster instantly moves his cursor towards a different character. Damien next to me lets out a soft gasp. What? What's wrong? Buster's character is like, three kinds of bullshit is what's wrong. What? Well, for one thing, he's usually gentlemen's band and turnies, and... His mouth is moving, but all that comes out is alien words. Buster lets out a chuckle and turns to Olivia, giving her a smug grin. Olivia doesn't seem at all phased by Buster's character choice, clicking her joystick lazily. As soon as Olivia picks her character, the game's announcer blares the name aloud. Bonnie Long! Damien turns to look at me. The excitement in his face is overbearing. That's Olivia's maid! Oh man, this will be one hell of a fight if Olivia's breaking her out. Uh, so is this Wani Long a good character? Shortest explanation you'll understand is yes. What's the long one? If you don't know what a Shoto is, it'll take too long to explain here. Buh. While Damien rambles on, I recall Olivia's motivation to just get here. That look she had, that more than anything piques my curiosity. So uh, how good is Olivia with her? Damien's reply is to only give me a wide big grin. Oh, you'll see. A loud soundbite from the cabin speaker signals the start of Olivia's match. Given the way Damien spoke of Olivia's skills like it was derived from an ancient scroll, I expected it to be a flurry of pixelated beatdowns and tactful controller play. But instead it looked like... nothing at all. On the large display, both characters are just shifting back and forth, the joysticks in Olivia's and Buster's hands clacking about furiously. 
Honestly, it looks more like they're attempting to make their digital avatars tap dance. Ooh! Wait, did I miss something? I don't want to turn my eyes away in case something happens. No, like, they're trying to get a read on each other. Uh... It's like they're trying to predict what the other will do so they can counter and steal the match. Oh. So, like, their size in there's a heavy crack and thump on the floor in front of me. Olivia's tail has lashed at the base of the cabinet while Buster's Thagomizer had managed to crack the concrete floor beneath them. Awesome Thagomizer reference. <laughs> on screen, the characters finally made contact and sent each other flying in opposite directions. Behind me, the crowd started cheering, finally excited that there was some actual action happening. Damien is hollering next to me, cheering on Olivia with all his might. Though the excitement dies down again as the duo resume their cyber posturing. My eyes darted between Olivia and Buster. Olivia is completely absorbed in the match. Her eyes are wide and full of killing intent. Buster, on the other hand, seems like he can barely contain his fury. Ten seconds on the clock, Olivia comes in clutch, punishing Buster's character with an impressive string of attacks. He manages to get away with a single pixel of health just as the time limit runs out. Winner, Wanid Long. The crowd goes nuts as Olivia's victory is announced. And you know what? I can't help but cheer along with them. Olivia slumps back on her mobile seat and lets out a sigh before returning to her original position. Buster lets out a snort, twists and stretches his neck, and cracks his knuckles before, once again gripping the controls tight. Round two. Clash and thrash. The crowds return to a more silent state of observing the match closely, only low murmurs as they gawk at the two highly skilled players. The words passed around reach me, attempting to draw my eyes away. Weird for him? Surprised he's not doing the... Is he playing with her? Come on, Olivia! Damien's shout above the rest of them nearly blew my eardrums, but I shared his sentiment as the stylized characters exchanged simple blows. The timer continues to tick down, Buster once again being put on the defensive. With how all the previous bouts went, Buster always had control with a cutthroat level of offense, but I didn't think of him as being this... passive. The countdown once again hits zero, this time with Olivia's character slouching in defeat and the crowd cheering again, though less enthusiastically than before. You got this, Olivia! Just one more win and you're champ again! Olivia's shoulders tense up at what he said, and all eyes stare directly at her. Damien! Come on, Hot Wheels, show him why you're the best! She groans a bit and refocuses on the screen. The group simmers down to silence in anticipation of the start of the final match. The sudden silence actually catches me off guard for a second. Long enough for my own doubts to catch up to me. Buster's playstyle. It's like he's not really... trying? The match starts, and the hype flares right back up. That's stupid of me to even think. He's a gamer bro champion type. He's got way too much to lose. And yet... Hey, Damien? Yeah? Do you notice anything off about how Buster's playing? You notice it too? Guess I'm not just paranoid then. Like, I didn't really watch your match, but was he always so... passive? No. But like, these two are crazy good, so maybe this is all mind games. As if he's going to throw the game and let her win. We glance back at the ongoing battle happening on the screen, and I take notice of Buster's hand movements. As Olivia launches her character into a furious combo, sure enough, Buster hesitates just enough to let his fighter get hit by the first blow. That's... brilliant timing. This is crazy. Huh? Then it hits me all at once like a freight train. The way Buster was looking down at Olivia, how he didn't want to take her challenge, all the excuses he was giving. He's a virgin. <laughs> but also, he's throwing the whole match, isn't he? Damn it. Even here, Olivia was right. Damien, I think he's taking it easy on her. You think so? Damien takes a moment to ponder what I said. Dang. Even here. That's what I was thinking. Should we do something? What, interrupt the match? Everyone else is having fun. The crowd whoops again. Only now it sounds a bit different. Hollow. Mocking. Damien's frill sags with concern. He turns to me. What we came here for is a good time. If she can't tell, what's the harm? Jeez. You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. I hate that he's right. I could stand up for her. I mean... Just being there for Olivia when Mia was getting on her went pretty alright. But that was a while ago. I just don't know. 
I look over the crowd again. The match is about halfway done, judging by the remaining health pools. Don't cause a fuss for Olivia. Cheer Olivia on. Uh, cheer her on. I know Olivia normally doesn't like this from strangers, but I'm no stranger to Olivia. She knows my intentions. We're friends. On screen, it looks like the characters are about to strike one another with their feet. I cut my hands around my mouth. Go, Olivia! You got this! Damien recoils from my scream. Or maybe I popped his eardrum, judging by the glare he levels at me. And he raises two fingers to his mouth. Heck yeah, you got this! Even Liz tries to join in, shouting down at the crowd with her own cheers. Oh, you know what would be cool? You could do it, Hot Wheels! Yeah, go, Hot Wheels, go! Olivia flinches and turns her head to look back at us a bit. Curiously, so does her opponent. She sees us cheering and gets her usual disfavoring furrowed brow. No way, I'm sticking to my guns. Eyes on the screen, Hot Wheels, he's gonna get you. Beat him without even looking. She stares right through the crowd at me. It's only an instant, but it feels longer. But her subtle scowl cracks. Then it completely folds into a smirk back at us. She faces back to the screen with renewed vigor. Buster shakes his head to snap himself out of his own slog. Looks like he was only intending to lose by a little. He's picking up the pace for now. Only... Time! The match times out. <clears throat> Dang, wanna go another round? People need a winner. Actually, mind if I run to the restroom real fast? Shit, yeah, it's, uh, down that way. Olivia turns and smiles at me again. It's warm. Then she goes off to the restroom. Buster waits for her to be out of earshot and scrambles over to Damien and I. Hey, you two. You guys weren't serious, right? Huh? You were saying Hot Wheels. That's not really her, right? The Hot Wheels from a decade ago? Yup, it's her. Why? Damn, I feel like a jackass now. You were throwing for her, weren't you? A little. Your buddy Finhead gave me some sob story about her during her match and I felt bad, okay? Who wants to be known as the asshole that picks on cripples? Ooh, Buster was being hospitable to the young lady. Who the fuck? Shut the... Yo, Buster, you simping? It's off. But yeah, I didn't mean any disrespect or anything. Crap, I didn't know she had a history here. I should have more respect than that. Besides, what do you do now? I'll play for real. It's what she deserves. That's all we ask. Buster nods and turns with a thumbs up. He cracks his knuckles and neck in preparation for his first legitimate match of the day. You're still kind of simping, though. Shut the hell up, Dave. Olivia returns, sliding up to the machine once more. Thanks for waiting. No problem. Ready? You know it. Good, because you're going down this time. They give each other one last competitive leer before putting all their focus on the screen. Just, to be just as before, Buster chooses the OP character, and Olivia picks Wani Long. As soon as the in-game announcer yells, Fight! Buster immediately goes in for the kill, the total opposite to how he was playing last match. It catches Olivia off guard for a moment, leading her character to eat a massive combo that takes away a good chunk of her health. True to his word, he isn't holding back this time for Olivia's sake, dealing her the same level of beatdown brutality he gave to the opponents before her. This seems to only invigorate her, putting her skilled hands into overdrive. Even though Buster is going at full force, Olivia still manages to get Wani Long to land a few punches and kicks, along with evading some attacks. The crowd seems to notice the reappearance of Buster's lethality, causing an uproar of cheering and whoops. Damien, of course, follows suit. You got this, Hot Wheels! Kick his ass! I can't let him be the only one, right? Show him why you're the champ! Unfortunately, not even Olivia could beat Buster's true fighting skills, and like his previous opponents, K.O. Bold wins! The crowd is a mix of groans and cheers and excitement at the ill-fated defeat of Olivia. Buster crosses his arms, basking in his self-pride of beating the legendary Hot Wheels. Damn, he really handed my ass to me. Didn't I say I was kind of a big deal around here? Yeah, yeah. Though I gotta admit, you gave me a real challenge. I see why you were known as the champ. Thanks. If you're ever up for a rematch, you know where to find me. With that, Olivia makes her way over to us, a smile beaming across her face. All right, who's next? We exit the crowd into a more spacious part of the arcade. That was awesome, Liv. You really gave him a run for his money. I know, right? I mean, I know I'm a bit rusty, but the moment I got my hands on the controls and he gave me a real fight, I was so close to beating him. 
Despite having been outmatched and losing to Buster, she seems to be having even more fun than ever. I'm feeling all jittery after that fight. That's the gamer rush settling in you. Hey, you know they sell food here, right? We should get some snacks to celebrate. Well, I was smelling grease. I was just assuming it was... He takes his own order and starts marching off in another direction. Damien, wait for the rest of us. Food, huh? You know what? I could go for a little something. Yeah, it is getting pretty late. Come on, they went this way. Olivia starts plowing through the crowd once more. Oh boy, this again. I'll call it exercise. 